Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's a match reaction, it's Luton Town versus Birmingham City. But before I get on with today's video guys, can we drop a like, comment below your thoughts about the game against Birmingham, subscribe to the channel if you are new and guys, if you'd like to become a member of my channel, click the link down below, you get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member. And also, if you haven't seen my match preview for this game, make sure you check that out before watching this one. So, Luton versus Birmingham. I'm actually quite confident that Luton can get the three points here. I don't know why. I just have a good feeling that today's going to be a good day and we are going to get the three points of Birmingham. That could backfire, but hopefully it doesn't. Now, I've already mentioned it in my match preview about the Birmingham keeper and what he said before today's game, I kind of want to beat Birmingham because of that. I thought those comments were disrespectful. Don't understand why teams and players are coming out saying this sort of stuff about Luton. But anyway, we move on. Hopefully that gives the players motivation to win this game against Birmingham. And looking at the starting eleven that is actually playing in today's game, I'm quite confident that we can get the three points. It looks like Matty Pearson's playing right back. I do have a few question marks over that. He has done well. And he is in good form. Hopefully that can continue and hopefully he deals with his wide player well enough. I know that when Pearson plays against a skillful wide player, it can cause a few problems for us. But hopefully Pearson has him in his back pocket and we don't have any problems there. Collins is starting on his 150th appearance. Berry's also starting on his 100th appearance as well. So got good landmarks there. Hopefully they can both score on their landmarks for Luton. I'm very confident it does look like we're playing a 4-3-3 with Glenn Ray playing as a centre-back. I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we see a very good first half, plenty of chances. I feel like in that department we don't create enough. So hopefully we can create plenty of chances for us to score and hopefully at half-time we are winning the first half or have put in a good performance in. I'm confident, I'm predicting a 1-0 win. I'd like it to be more than 1-0, but we have to wait and see. So I'll talk to you guys at half time to give you my first half thoughts. Right, it's currently half time and it's currently a draw. It's 1-1. Luton, for me, have been the better team by a mile. The performance is there. We are the most dangerous side between the two teams. Birmingham scored first for a penalty and it's a rubbish rule because I completely disagree with the current handball rule. But in today's, like, football... It's a, it's a penalty. It's a shame, really, because at that point, we were the better team by a mile. And we allowed them to get in front in the game, which is disappointing, but it happens. Could Saluga do anything with the penalty? No. To be fair, the power in that shot from 12 yards, the only way Saluga was going to save that was with his legs. Not many keepers I know could get down to that shot quite quickly, especially with the power of the shot. Very difficult for a keeper to save that where he's so limited, where he has to stay on his line. So I'm not blaming Sluga for not saving that penalty. It's so hard nowadays to save penalties with goalkeepers. But yeah, we allowed Birmingham to be in front in the game. Although we allowed Birmingham to score first, it didn't stop us from putting in a good performance after they scored. And to be fair, we could have easily have got the second just before half-time. We've been putting in a great performance. We just need to create more opportunities for ourselves. The final ball has let us down a few times. So if we can sort that out, I can honestly see us scoring a couple more goals in the second half. But I'm very proud with that first half performance. It's a great first half performance. We just need to build on that. And if we haven't scored by the 60th minute mark, make the subs. Don't make the subs too late. Make the subs to make a change in today's game. If we look at our goal, which we scored, to be fair, it's karma for the Birmingham City goalkeeper. He should have saved that. It's straight at him. And that's what you get for making silly comments before a game. I'm a strong believer in karma. And I think we got a bit of justice there with that goal. But hopefully we can build on our performance in the first half and get the win in the second. I have full confidence in the boys that we can win the second half and obviously get the three points. So... I'm looking forward to it, and I'll speak to you guys after the game. I don't know how we haven't won this game. I really don't know how we haven't won. James Collins, he's not doing himself any favours. I know people are going to say, we need a striker, we need a striker. But poor Sam Nombe is sitting on the bench. I mean, he's not even getting a look in. You know, like, what more does he need to do to actually get a minute of championship football? 
I bet he's thinking like while sitting on the bench going like I've got a striker here missing chances like that how am I not getting in the team we need to give him a go I really want us to give him a go because he may be the answers to what we're looking for we're saying that we need a striker maybe Sam Nombe is that guy we don't know until we test him at this level he may do it you know he may be that striker which we are looking for and take chances like James Collins did. James Collins should have scored. He had, obviously, the two opportunities. The first one where it was played across the six-yard box and he, he slid in. That should have been a goal. That 100% should have been a goal. And then the other one where it was blocked by the defender. I don't know why he went for the right corner where he should have went for the left corner. He should have hit the ball the way it came. Like, the keeper was diving the opposite way, so it would have been a class finish if he hit it the opposite way. But instead, he hit it the way the keeper was diving and then the defender managed to get a block in. He also had a chance for a header he wasn't expecting, which he should be expecting. I don't know what's wrong with James Collins this season. Something's not right with him. He normally takes those opportunities for us. And it's letting us down a little bit because we should have won today. We were miles better than Birmingham. Birmingham, for me, have been one of the worst teams in the league. Up there with Wickham, you know, we should have won today. Three points. But that's a massive difference from last season. Against Birmingham last year, we were nowhere near good enough. And it just shows you how much we have come Like since then. We are much the better team. We're so much better than them. I can see Birmingham being down there if they play like that every game. They were awful. Yes, they had that chance in the last minute, which fair play to Saluga, by the way, a great save. Apart from that, they didn't offer anything. They really didn't. They were very poor today. If I was a Birmingham fan, I'd be very disappointed with that because that's rubbish going forward they were awful we defended quite well I just don't understand how we haven't scored I really don't understand how we haven't scored but we need to keep those performances up next game it needs to have that type of performance we need to create more chances we need to score our chances you know so I'm happy that we put in a good performance in but I'm also disappointed because I felt we should have got the three points and I do think if you were watching that game you would also think yeah, we were miles the better team and we should have got the three points. So, mixed emotions really, but I'm happy. That's a lot better than previous games going forward, especially. Going forward just hasn't been right. But I thought today we found the right balance in the field. And it just shows you when you find the right balance in the field, we just look better going forward. So hopefully in our next game, we continue to do that. Because that was a good performance going forward. We just didn't take our chances which is something which we need to start doing. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, hopefully you did, drop a like on today's video. Comment below your thoughts about that performance against Birmingham. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, I'll see you in the next video.